Alrighty, new update on this. There's sound. Let's watch the whole thing. When you finish, you can take the kids swimming. Swimming? Aw, oh, gee, I uh, forgot my bathing suit. I guess I can't go in the water all summer. Ah. Oh. Jack, nobody cares what you look like in a bathing suit. That's just it. I'm gonna pick one up for you. Well, I'm not gonna wear it. Not until I lose maybe three or four pounds. When you... <laughs> all right. All right, I'm seeing all the little updates in there. I got some notes here and there. Let's turn on the sound just a tad here. When you finish, you can take the... So I like that you included the turn here so it doesn't feel like a 2D card anymore. It's a head turn. This is a bit more upright. The only thing that it, it feels a bit like it's just up here and it's cut off and there's nothing else there. And I think to me, it feels like she can come in here. Let me actually bring in the frame just a bit more. When she comes in and does that, so it's not just in here, but we barely see it. I almost missed it. I think I would stylize it in caricature and just go broader. Because there's also the dialogue and the voices. Everything's very old-timey. So when you do this, she could have a slight lean back. That amount of rotation is okay, but imagine just the head would be further back. Like she's really making a point to be seen. Hey, I'm talking to you. Blah, 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 blah. But also something for the audience to really notice right that's just a bit too subtle subjectively just to me i think that could be finish, could be tweaked then in terms of his arms it still has the thing I, I see some of the changes where the hand starts to have an arc it doesn't cover her which is great um i think to me there's just some Contrasty, broader things, but also some technical things. Like, technically, if you look at, if I'm going to go crazy here with, if I track just that wrist, I'm going to pretend that that's where the controller is to some degree, right? And then, I guess it's around here. I'm going to keep pretending to be tracking something, although at this point, I guess it would be lower. But anyway... Broadly speaking, you can see this transition here, how this arm goes up straight and then like that. So watch out for your arcs, just, just from a technical point of view. But it still feels like this is a huge move. And then this is another huge move. So when you look at that, it's very similar in terms of energy. You might argue, well, this one's higher. Sure, but this is why I mentioned that I personally would have kept this one here again. This, it's your shot, all, all subjective, but you are paying for this workshop, so I want to give you my opinions. I'm not going to not say anything. That's my job here. So I still personally would reduce this by a ton. You can still go up and do this, and then that R might just be down here, slightly up, or I would still just keep it on that table so that when it's here, keep it there. And if he goes all the way up like that, what does that mean? Well, maybe... That means that the shoulder might just be lower, but it's still in that pose where it's kind of like that. And that way you have somewhere to go with intensity. Same with this. This to me feels too big. I would go not more than this, meaning that you might go from something like this, soft with a little bit of an arc up like that, or something small like this. But this is small, bigger, big, right? So this would be the small one, slightly bigger gesture, and then you finish with the big one. And that's why I mentioned this. Otherwise, you have same energy three times. It's feels very repetitive, personally. Yeah, I think this just takes away from that um, big gesture there. When you finish, you can take the kids swimming. Watch out. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Never eat crackers before you have a... <laughs> <laughs> feedback session <clears throat> from a technical point of view watch out as you continue with more detail when you have a lot of elbow movement stuff like that the hand is completely still you're gonna have to have some keep alive and some compression on the fingers things like that even that elbow if you watch that you boom swimming. stops a bit harshly so keep going on that type of cleanup same thing if you have all of that body movement watch out for this wrist there's nothing going on so you're gonna have to have some movement and compression and changes that's all the Awesome polished stuff. And uh, there's a little bit of a slight feel of a sudden stop. Boom! On that that line there. It's not like there's a arm pop, but still, it's just a bit harsh. And even this one, 
starts to have almost like a pin through here, like it's just pivoting off of here, and then bigger linear key coming down. So it's just mostly clean up for that stuff. And then... Dude, I guess I can't go in the water all summer. Oh. This one's a bit odd. If you look at his eyes... Oh. Beep, beep. It's just very fast. Looks over there. Quickly over there. Quickly over there. And it's almost like he's looking at camera. But if you watch this in real time... Oh. Jack, nope. it, doesn't, it just doesn't quite feel natural. And I know it is one of the notes where... I would suggest to have him kind of look at her... To see, did she did she catch on that I'm doing something wrong? But what I would do is, if he goes like this, oh. Also, again, arc wise, if you track that nose, boom, hits a massive wall here, boom. So watch out, just overall spacing and and uh, the arcs and all that stuff. But to me, it feels like how is he going here? He goes like this. I will probably go from here. And at this point, not as far. Although I like that the eyes lead there. But I'm trying to find a moment where... I mean, one of the compromises could be just to have your dart over there and leave it. Don't move over there. So just kind of like a look. Because it is corner of the eye. It gives you that kind of feeling of, is she checking? And, then, and at least it will read enough. This is just too much and it happens right before the cut. If there's something, then cut out that last dart, but... Dude, I guess I can't go in the water all summer. Oh. In order to not... Like, to, in order to have that read better, but what I, if this was my shot, what I would do is I would reduce the amount of head movement. So you move the head around a lot, you don't quite notice what the eyes are doing. So to me, it's more like a, oh, stop here. Have a nice little arc coming back. And then that way there's not too much movement and you settle a bit more. So, and then that way you have kind of a, just a clear read of that eye. If that makes sense. And then watch out. There's something, you did follow the note of having movement in that arm because of this, because of all the tension and the, the post change. But, but uh, right now, beep, it just feels a bit mechanical. Beep, beep. Stops on a bit of a harsh note. And it doesn't feel like it's quite part of the moment. It just feels like a separate move just added on. To me, it would be... And... Ah, like, this is when he goes up. And on that up, shoulder goes up. And then the chest goes a bit over. A little slight rotation. And this then goes down. And it might even... Go off the hip a little bit to be a bit looser. But that's kind of how I would approach that. The rest is working better here in the second half. This is just a bit post to posey when all of that moves. And it also feels like a linear key on that leg. Like the roots, the leg, the arm, everything moves. Bam! And everything stops. Even though there's a little bit of continuation here. I would have that a bit more. Like something really would lead. Probably could lead with that arm a lot. Or you start moving your, your root over for a shift. And then the, the leg continues. But even when it comes down here... I would give it a little bit of an ease in and ease out, just a little bit, even though that's a step. But imagine it has a bit of a rotation on that ankle, just kind of soften it a little bit. But you still want to feel like, well, at that point, there's now more weight. So the hip is going to go up a bit. And it's not such of a, a, a harsh stop. And on that post change, it's slightly more forward. But to me, I know it's kind of a match with this and it feels fairly straight, but... It just feels still a bit more like this. I would personally cheat and start that bend in that in the chest around here. And you'd have to do maybe less with the head, but it's just a bit more of a... Uh, <laughs> like that. Heck, nobody cares what you look like in a bathing suit. I love this, though. I love that he has that... Huh? That thought. And also, you have it here. Swimming. Oh. Right there. Swimming. Huh? Swimming. Huh? That's great. I love that that's in there. Bathing. Watch out, this starts to feel a bit too twin there. You can just have a bit of a different pose arm back in. Maybe this one a bit further in. It just 
feels not quite natural. And I think one of the other notes were that he's just a bit squatty. And I know he gets up here, but even here he still has... Uh, there's still something fairly squatty there, but it's mostly this just feels off. The, the straight arms twinned with that squatty feel there. This, watch out. There's a tangent right there between her arm and his arm. And there's this weird, as if she's pushing his arm. See that? That arm comes over. A, both of them stop at the same time. And they feel like IK arms, just because they go in a very straight line. They, the arcs are very harsh here. They seem like IK arms. And then it comes to a sudden stop, and then it feels like you don't want to overlap things. Which, I understand why you want to keep this clear, but... And you just kind of cheat and bring that arm in like that for a bit of a, a bigger lean over there. I would still push that. It's still fairly straight. And this feels out. So to me, it feels like bring that arm in, but lean that body over more to get that. Well, I'm not going to wear it. That, I'm not going to wear it. I'm, I'm, I'm against you type of feel. Same thing here. It's a harsh stop. Bang. So, it's a lot of cleanup, I think, mostly that I would say here. So, watch out for your arcs and ease ins and stops, and especially arcs and arms if they're I don't know, okay. Until I lose maybe three. But that's cute. The only thing I would say is on that hand here, again, arcs seems like it goes up and then has a bit of a stop and goes down. And then after that, it's kind of the same pose wise with the fingers. Imagine that hand would be a bit rotated out and then comes in and there's been maybe a little bit of a squeeze of the fingers. So just a bit more um, polished love on that one. Just overall as well. Alrighty. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.